relationships are in crisis. Because we keep trying to create connection, partnership, and collaboration using the only tools we have, which are domination tools. They're not going to work. They're good for some things, but not for partnership. <clears throat> if you're going to make a switch into skilling up here, you're going to start asking a very different question. Instead of asking what is wrong all the time, you're going to start with um, uh, what will help? How can things be better? Marshall Rosenberg, in his nonviolent communication model, would use the phrase, how can we make life more wonderful? How do we orient ourselves to making life more wonderful, better improvement? So there's an instant internal shift in the jackal world of looking backwards, blaming, shaming, finding out what's wrong, going on you know, digs, archaeological digs, to find the cause. In this world, we're starting in the present moment, and we're guided by our vision of how the world could be, how this relationship could be, what's going to be better for all of us. So our energy is instantly directed into, a different, into the service of something different. Yeah? This is the question that I begin with. What will help? What's going to make things better? It is a relational frame. It's not a control frame. That means that when I am relating to you or about to open my mouth and speak with you, <coughs> I'm a subjective human being with my own subjectivity. You are another subjective human being with your own subjectivity. And I want to really deeply get to know you, and I want you to get to know me. I want us to relate with one another. I want there to be connection, understanding. I want to be seen. I want to see you. I want to be heard. I want to hear you. I want to be understood. I want to understand you. There's a very, very different objective in this communication than I want to get my way, I'm suffering and I'm in pain, you're the cause of it, therefore you need to be fixed and changed in the following ways so that I can feel better. Completely different frame. Okay? So we're going for a relational and we're going for a heart-based communication, which is why um, Marshall would talk about this language as giraffe language. He uses the metaphor of the giraffe. So if you're working with any NBC circles, and that's not how you spell giraffe, um, the giraffe has the biggest heart of any land mammal because it needs a huge, huge muscle to pump the blood all the way up that long neck. And giraffes see things from a higher perspective. And so for those two reasons and quite a few more, which I won't go into, um, he uses the metaphor of the giraffe and he talks about this as giraffe, giraffe language or the language of the heart. So compassionate communication, nonviolent communication, um, collaborative partnership communication drops you down into your heart and your gut and asks you to communicate from more levels than simply your thinking. Domination and hierarchy require you to disconnect from your felt sense, buy into cultural standards of right and wrong, and live your life in obedience to them without questioning them. That can be very problematic. Nonviolent Communication asks you to drop down into your entire body, find out everything that's going on for you and somebody else, and draw from a much broader range of data, and come to conversation and relationship with one another with a different intention. Any questions or, or about that before I move on? Sounds lovely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is lovely. So.